In the last episode we learned how to make basic hyperrealism. In this episode we are gonna focus on the details of hyperrealism such as camera settings, lighting, colors, reflections and animations. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any other episode. This is the model we are gonna use this episode, link is in the description. First off, let's create a room in which we can render our objects. Make sure that the room is completely shut. We are also gonna change the material of the walls, floor and ceiling in order to create a new ambience. Since we are inside of a room, we are gonna disable our main sunlight. There are several different light types such as directional lights which we just deactivated because it won't fit our scene, point lights, spotlights and area lights. For this tutorial I'm going to use an area light. It fits the best to our scene and looks similar to a softbox if used correctly. It is important to set the mode to real time in order to have crisp shadows that get updated every frame. You can adjust the shape and size however you want according to your use case. I suggest you change the emission to our cheat sheet from last episode. You can still adjust the range and intensity but I suggest you use the cheat sheet. Now we just need to enable shadows and maybe change the resolution. Now we can place our model into the scene. We can then apply all the materials just like we did last time. If you want to have a specific focus in your scene I suggest you play around with the color values of the glass and the other materials. If you have glass I suggest you change the iridescence of the material. This will make the reflection much more realistic adding a bit of color into it. Just like last time, we are gonna add a reflection probe under our camera to make even more realistic reflections. You can now change the look of your scene even more by changing the smoothness value of your walls and your surroundings. We can now add exposure into our volume and change it to fixed, enabling it and setting the values in order to achieve a more natural look or in this case a more cinematic look. We are also gonna add some depth of field in order to make our scene just pop a bit more. I want to set the focus distance using our camera so I'm gonna set it to camera and adjust the quality to high. For this to work we need to enable the physical camera part of our camera. If you have no experience I suggest you pick a preset out of the sensor types and adjust it however you want. This can make or break the look and feel of our scene. Now we can adjust our focus distance. Having a higher focus distance means focusing on objects that are further away. Having a smaller focus distance means we are focusing on objects that are close in front of the camera. Since I want to set a focus on the motor of the car, I'm gonna set the value really low. You should also add balloon to your scene in order to make the light reflect a bit less harsh and a bit more natural. You should also adjust the intensity of that, but don't set it too high as it will result in washed out colors and even a blurred image. The last step for this episode is animations. Instead of using the standard animation component, we are gonna use the Unity timeline in order to create a more cinematic look and making a better workflow for ourselves. We are gonna dock the window to our project folder and create a new director game object. We can then click create while selecting our director game object to create a new director timeline. Now we can drag and drop our camera into the field and create a new animation track. Now you can hit record and use it like the animation workflow. We can now convert it to a clip. This makes editing of multiple clips easier and easier to manage. You can now still work with the animation workflow as usual, but without having the key points show. We can do the same thing for our light in order to make it hover over the car and create a nice cinematic look. And that's how you can create a realistic scene in just 15 minutes with animations. In the next part we are gonna work on optimization and how to record. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next episode. And join our discord, link is in the description.